What's going on guys? This is Ferox. Today um we're going to do another tutorial actually. I know you guys like my tutorials. Um but people actually have been asking me as requested how to do these nice sexy modules for your backgrounds. And this ju just doesn't this can, the, can, blah, 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 blah. this can be for anything. It doesn't just have to be for YouTube backgrounds obviously. But it has a nice drop shadow with a nice stroke. Basically, the stroke makes everything. And then just to add on, I do these flares right here. And I will put a download link to these flares. Um, because my After Effects isn't really working at the moment, I would have done a tutorial on how to make them, maybe in the future. But anyways, so yeah, this will be basically your final outcome. These are really nice. I don't really use this style anymore. This, this was my old style. I have like, I change it up all the time, you know what I mean? But... Yeah, so let's just get right into this. So let's just take off all the effects on all of these. Um, we should start. F what are? What is this? Yeah, that's the thingy. All right, just taking off all these things. Uh, you know what? I should appear busy on Skype. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to speak up a lot more and be more entertaining because I noticed, noticed my last tutorial, I wasn't that, I was more, I wasn't in a good mood at the time, so I obviously wasn't, I wasn't, uh, whatever, I don't know the word, whatever. Let's just, let's just do this. I always mess up my, whenever I, whenever I do a commentary or tutorial, I always mess up my words, so sorry about that. So, we don't need that. Where are the flares? Let's take off all these flares for now. All right, so here's your modules, right? And so what you want to do first, we can let's actually yeah, let's actually merge all these modules together. All right. So what you want to do is you want to put a drop shadow on it first, and so you want the spread to be nine and the size to be nine. This is just what I usually do for almost anything. Um, the opacity, 75, whatever. Now you want, we'll do your stroke. You want a, the size to be 1. And the fill type, you want it to be gradient. And with the gradient, you want it to be the angle, 90 degrees. Um, so yeah, and I'll show you how to do the gradient here. You want it to be like that kind of gray. If you want to know the code, it's 545454. Four, five, four. It doesn't have to be exact, but for some people out there who want it to be exact, and trying to make that uh, just a bit, just a bit uh, lighter than what I did before. So A B A B A B. If you want to know the code, and okay, so there's your stroke, and just right here, it looks pretty nice. Um, and now you want an inner shadow. This just makes it a lot nicer. So distance. Uh, yeah, distance zero, and the size, um, let's see here, it's actually, the size, let, let's see the size here, inner shadow, size, put the size on about nine, And the choke about, let's say, 47. If you want a choke, you can also put some distance on it. I'm not a big fan of using that, but... So, yeah, basically, there's your nice... There's ba the basics of the modules. Now, you want to make it a, look, a bit more glossy. So, what you want to do is... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Here, here's what we do. I almost forgot. <laughs> make your color white. Select the, where the fuck is that tool? Um, oh my, f you know what, I haven't used this tool in forever, I almost forgot where it is, or I forgot where it is. Uh, yes, you want to select your gradient tool, so it'll look a lot like this, and the color, just put that to white. And you want to make a new layer for this. Now what you want to do 
see how I did that? And I know it's really white up here, but what you want to do, right click that, create clipping mask, and see how it goes over the module like that. Now you want to put the fill down. Okay, 10% is too less. About 50. 50 seems good. And you can copy can, uh, copy that layer and do it for this one. And just create a clipping mask again. And yes, see how it's more white up here? All you got to do, take your eraser tool. Or, yeah, you can. there's many other, there's other ways to do it, but. And then lower the the fill or the opacity to your liking. And then you can do the same down here. And make sure to create a clipping mask on all of those. All those three layers for the mo for the modules. Um and yes, again we have to use the eraser tool, but that's okay. So that's that's your modules right there. Now, this is a fast tutorial. I tried to make I tried to make it faster because I know my tutorials keep going lagging on or whatever. And now your flares, which you have them here. Um, we don't need that. You have your flares here, and you can make these whatever size you want. I had to make them smaller than the than the original thing, but yeah, so. And then just line it up on the lines, and it make it makes a nice, nice, uh, nice style, nice effect. Um, and yeah, you can put another one up here if you wanted. So yeah, that that's basically a nice effect. And if you wanted, if you wanted to color all of these, I'll show you. You don't have to merge all the layers. Actually, yeah, don't merge all the layers. Don't do that. <laughs> but you can merge the flares. You can merge those. And you want to do, you want to screen, put on screen. And then you can obviously change the color on how you want these. Let's say if you want a nice red, make those red. Um, and then for these, you, you can uh, merge these onto the, onto the background. So, and then you can obviously change the modules to a nice red finish, I guess. Give it a red tint, you know, make it make it blend into the red flares. So yeah. So there's the basics of the modules. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and found this helpful. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.